Okay y'all, we're taking a trip and to be honest, surprisingly, it is my first like real trip of the year. I know, insert like, ah, face. So I got my little smoothie here in case you're wondering what I'm drinking. I actually didn't make it the best today. I like my smoothies to be thick. Some people like their smoothies like a little more, I don't know, like watery, I guess. <laughs> more like a daiquiri. I prefer, or like a frozen kind of slushy. I prefer mine to be like real, real thick, but I added a little bit too much coconut milk. Anyway, that's what this is, but it's delicious. Um, as you can see behind me, we are prepping for a trip. So I figured that I would take you guys along with me. You can join me on the journey. So here's the thing when it comes to packing. I have notoriously been an overpacker and then I have like notoriously been an underpacker. And I think that I've discovered something that helps me ensure that I have everything I need for my trip, no matter where I'm going, that I feel good when I get there, that I look good when I get there. And you know, that way I'm not like confused. It's really hard sometimes, I think, traveling and you're trying to live out of a suitcase and it can be challenging, but I hate to have to go someplace and not have what I need and then I end up having to shop under pressure and shopping under pressure is never enjoyable because then you usually don't end up liking what you picked up. So that being said, I have worked out a system that helps me to be able to make sure that I have everything that I want and that I need before I'm going on a trip. First things first, you obviously have to think about the vibe of the place that you're going to. The problem that I think people run into is when they're thinking about the vibe, they're like, okay, I need to dress how everybody in that city dresses, or I need to dress in the way that the city is like being described to me as, you know, it's like all those videos you see on TikTok and even on YouTube where it's like, here's how not to dress like a tourist when you're going to X, Y, and Z place. But here's the thing. The people in the place that you're going, they can look at you and know that you're not from there. <laughs> like, I don't care what you have on, what outfit you try to make up so that you look like you're fitting in. The people that are from there know what the people who are from there look like. So it's okay for you to follow along with the vibe of a city that you're going to, but you still wanna make sure that you're bringing what you look like, you're bringing your energy, you're bringing your style to the place. You know what I'm saying? I think it's so weird when people are like, I don't want to look like a tourist when I'm going to Japan or when I'm going to Paris or wherever. First and foremost, let me tell you this. As somebody who is a well-traveled person, I've been a lot of places, you look like an American. <laughs> like, if you are not from those places, you automatically are going to look like, oh, that's an American person. Because there's just something uniquely about being American that people from other places can automatically tell. And add on top of that, being a black American, I'm never going to fit in. Okay, I don't care if I have on a striped, you know, boat neck t-shirt and a beret in Paris and the best wide leg jeans and saison or whatever. They're going to look at me and be like, this girl is not Parisian. You can fit in a little bit and throw pieces like as an homage to the place that you're going to. But you don't need to dress like the people there because you are not the people there. Right? You still need to bring you to the pile. And if you don't bring you to the pile then you're basically gonna look like you tried to put on a costume to come to this place and everybody's gonna know because you're gonna feel uncomfortable and you're not gonna feel like your best self. One of the keys to me being able to pack exactly how I want to every time I go on a trip is our magical clothing rack. Y'all know I love the clothing rack, okay? She is perfect. Even when you have a closet where you can kind of organize your things, being able to see stuff pulled off of like the shelves and off of the hanger is so good for me. Like. It helps. And even if you have a small space, you can get yourself a folding rack, something that you can like pop up when you need it and put down and stuff under a bed or something when you don't. Um, mine obviously can live in this room because that's what it's for. But this is the most helpful tool to me when it comes time to packing for a trip. I can see how things are laid out. I can see what they look like. I can see what outfits will go together should I get to the place and be like, mm -mm, that's not going to work. But I can mix and I can match. Y'all know, you know, I try to keep everything in the same color scheme. So it really helps me to make sure that I know what's going inside the bag before I put it all up and close it. So there are no surprises when I get to that hotel room and I'm looking like, girl, what is this? Because that has happened to me, y'all. I have pulled up <laughs> to many a place and have been like, what is in this bag? Like, 
what did I put in here? Because I still am not at the place where I'm not packing the day before a trip. I'm, I'm trying to work on it, but I'm not good at it. Like I literally leave tomorrow morning, okay? But, and all the stuff is on the rack so I can talk to y'all, but whatever. So first thing about packing with me is we have to start with good luggage. Um, I am of the belief that as you get older, there are certain things you just have to purchase and that are worth the money and good luggage is worth the money. Um, this particular suitcase is a cow pack suitcase from the Jen Atkin collection. Y'all have seen me use it. This is like my, this is what I have right now. Um, she is coming to the end of her life. I love her so much. She has been around the world. She has done all the things, but it is coming time for me to have to get a new one. The suitcases that I've been looking at right now are um, Shay Mitchell's B's, right? Or Bay's, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, the MVST Select, oh, it's so beautiful. Obviously, you know, if you want a Rowona, which is wonderful, I think that MVST is a brand that kind of like has the aluminum case down. I am really big on making sure that I have a color other people don't have, which is why I love my red suitcase because I always know it's my bag. Um, honestly, if Calpac did another Jen Atkin collection that looked just like this, I would just buy another one, but they don't. Now, let's get to what we're actually throwing in this bag for Nashville and why I'm going. One of my good friends is turning 40. Oh my God, that's crazy to like, you know, just know that I've known this person since they were 18, 19 years old and now they're turning 40. Um, so I love this guy. He's one of my favorite people. I'm really excited to go celebrate him. And that being said, this is what we've got going on. So we'll start off with my travel fit. Um, one, you always want to obviously put on a jacket on the plane because planes are cold and they can be uncomfortable. But you don't really want to wear a jacket that's going to be too bulky, especially if you're not sitting in first class and they can't hang your jacket up. Because then you obviously are taking up more space in your seat than need be. So I usually try to wear a jacket that like can double kind of as like a blanket that I can put around on the front of me or something that I could like if I had to, you know, roll up and make like a little pillow. But also something that can handle the wrinkles, can handle the travel and kind of all the like moving and shaking. I don't want to wear anything. I'm going to get off the plane and they're going to be like, girl, did you have a seat or were you riding in cargo? Because what's going on? So. I have my Madewell um, like kind of workers jacket. This jacket was one of my favorite purchases of last year. I love this because one, it also has pockets inside. So you know when you walk into the airport constantly like feeling for your phone to make sure you have everything. I can just put my phone in my pocket. I can put my wallet with my ID and it just makes it really easy. It's also a great layering piece because it's heavy enough to keep me warm, but not too heavy that I'm going to be sweating trying to make it through TSA across the airport. If you've flown out of LAX, you know what I'm talking about. I only fly Delta and sometimes that terminal is, is chaos. Okay. If I don't wear that, then I'm probably going to bring my oversized blazer from Topshop. Bringing a blazer with you on any trip is actually a good idea because it can take any outfit that you have on really from day to night. So let's say you're landing someplace at 2 p.m. Your room is not ready until 4 and you're like, okay, I need to go get something to eat. Maybe I want to step down to the bar in the hotel lobby. Maybe I want to go to a little happy hour. You could still have on your travel fit, but if you throw a blazer on top of it, it instantly kind of comes together and you don't look like you've been traveling, right? You never want to look like what you've been through, okay? And let me tell you, I travel to the East Coast a lot and down South a lot. So that is like a cross country journey. I don't want to get off that plane looking like yesterday. Okay, like, oh girl, you, you look like you were in LA yesterday morning. You look like you were in LA five hours ago. I don't necessarily want to look like that. So I usually bring some kind of blazer with me to help with that process. My outfit, my travel fit, and you guys will see, you should be seeing on the side of the screen, like the outfit put on. I'm going to do this like sweat sort of set, cohort set from Zara. Um, it's a beautiful color and like an off-white sort of cream. It's like sweatsuit, but a little more upscale, right? I am not usually the one who wants to like travel in sweats, but I saw <laughs> someone that I follow on TikTok. His name is Evan. And if you follow Evan, he's a um, creator, fashion creator out of DC. He was like, we need to stop acting like sweatpants can't be dressed up. And it's funny because I agree with that. Like, I wear sweatpants when I'm out doing things. I wear them with loafers. I will wear them with heels. I will do it all the time. And so I think I felt for a while, like, I don't want to necessarily get on a plane in a sweatsuit because it just feels a little bummy. But obviously, I can make it, you know, zhuzhed up by putting it on, oops, 
by putting it on, you know, with the blazer, right? And so that like instantly brings it up. It elevates the look or, you know, putting it on with the jean, which also gives it a little something, especially with the rolled sleeve. So I'm just debating between either one of those jackets, but this is like an oversized kind of top. The sleeves are cut in a way that, you know, make it look really cute because I'm landing Friday night. Um, you know, obviously I don't want to go from like my travel outfit right out. I assume that my friends and I, you know, will hit a bar or whatever. I'm going to Nashville, honey. I need to hit a honky tonk. Okay. Let me tell you something. I am a country loving girl. Like I love country. I wanted to have something that I can change into when we get to Nashville. So I'm going to bring a what? A Poppy Lush bodysuit. Y'all know how we feel about Poppy Lush. Honestly, at this point, they should just send me the full line that they have so that I can wear it because it comes in handy everywhere. This is one of my favorite tops from them because it has obviously the support in like the um, the chest and the boob area and it's backless. Y'all, the first time I wore this shirt, I was in awe of how supportive it was. The way that it held me up and just so you know what it's holding up, I am a 30 AD. Okay, those are not little girl boobs. I'm, I got grown women going on here. And it was like holding me up, holding me in. I felt so good in this shirt. And that is why I love Poppy Lush. So I'm bringing this bodysuit to put on um, at night. And then I have a pair of like black point leggings. They must still be downstairs because um, I had to launder them. And so I'm going to put on those like a bodysuit, fitted pants, and then... We're going to whip out these girls. Let me, let me tell you something about this boot. When I first got this boot, and I bought it last year, okay, to go to Jackson Hole for my 38th birthday, every time I put these boots on, I, these boots, every time I put these boots on, I just feel like I'm stepping into that mother. Okay? <laughs> like, it, these boots are a hit. I love these boots. They're so comfortable. I love that they're thigh high. It's like, you could put on a regular cowboy boot. Or you could put on a boot. Okay, and this is a boot. So I'm going to bring these with me. For Saturday, I've been told that we have a brunch. That's the actual event day. So obviously, you know, you need to have two fits. When I tell y'all I have been in situations where I look up and I'm like, oh my God, I only packed the outfit for the event we have to go to tonight. I didn't think about what I was going to do the whole day. And then I'm sitting around like, now I got to put throw back on the travel outfit because I was ill prepared. I will not be ill prepared this time. So I brought or am bringing this skirt that I got from Maritzia. Again, you guys will be seeing it on the side. So it's like a cargo skirt. Um, I love that it has this elastic waist because it is something that's comfortable. It's kind of thick. You know what I mean? It's like a material that feels a little bit like a sweatsuit material. Um, and can we just talk about how I was able to get a size six in this skirt. Honey, I haven't worn a size six since... <laughs> Shoot, sixth grade. Okay, look. What? I'm just pair it with this like cropped white tee that I got from Aritzia. I love their contour um, kind of t-shirts because they just fit really, really well. I find that they're like smoothing and really nice. And as a person that is like a t-shirt and jeans girl, sometimes you just have to accept like you're going to have to invest a little more in your t-shirts. You know what I mean? You know you're going to wear your t-shirts a lot. It's okay to drop like 30, 40 on your t-shirt because if you take good care of it, it's going to be around a while. You know what I mean? By the time you spend $10 on five t-shirts, you just spent the 50 and you could have just got a good one. So I have this outfit, which I'm going probably going to bring this cropped blazer to. Um, this is one of my most recent purchases from Zara and I have already worn this jacket enough times to get the cost for wear. I think it was 80 bucks. And I've already worn it like three, four, five times. And I ain't had the thing but a month. This is a great piece. Again, it goes back into having a blazer that can dress up an outfit or dress down an outfit. And the fact that it's cropped and I wear a lot of wide leg pants, it was the thing missing from my closet. I'm now like, can I get one in gray? Can I get one in navy? Like, I just want another one. So I'm probably going to bring this blazer with me, I think just to throw on top because it's supposed to be warm but you know i don't know if it'll have a little breeze in the air or what um I may bring my wells bonner adidas and so maybe i'll wear these with the sweatsuit and then i can wear them with this because i haven't worn them too much so maybe i'll wear these but that just means that i need to make sure that like 
The problem is I need to buy some socks. <laughs> I'm one of those people that I don't always buy like undergarments as often as I should. I'm like, oh yeah, right, I need a sock. And so I just like grab whatever. Um, but I'm thinking maybe I might do these. So if I don't do those Gucci's, then I'm gonna wear these Wells Bonner sneakers. And they're great too, obviously, because they go with everything I have happening here. So it can be paired with this and that could be cute. <laughs> we are doing a themed party. It is Casino Royale. So, you know, we're giving like James Bond gambling, but it's gonna be in the South, right? So I had a vision, I had a vision, okay? So I am going to wear this sequin number, which I love. I love the wide like opening here along the side. Um, so, you know, you can like see a little side boob, which is really cute. So I have this, but rather than wearing the dress with just like a regular heel, I, my friends, am going to be wearing that sequin dress with this thigh high stiletto, leather stiletto. Okay, because I'm like, if I'm going to go to a Casino Royale party, I want to dress like a Bond girl. I want to be the Bond girl in the movie. You understand? With the sequin and this leather trench coat. And let me tell y'all something. Okay, this coat, this coat right here, baby, it gives what needed to be given, gave, and gotten. Okay, like I put on this coat in the store and I was like, Zara. Who do y'all think y'all are? Who do you think? This is a very well-made coat. Now, it is not, you know, genuine cow. It is not genuine leather. But the vegan leather of it all was very, very well done. It feels beautiful. It's supple. It's nice. It's like warm but light enough to where you could layer it right and i just imagine i can wear this jacket with a sweatshirt underneath some sweatpants i could wear this with shorts it is just so cute but i am going to pair it with this sequin dress y'all and the boots and i just feel like it's gonna be like a reveal you know when i take it off it's gonna be like oh no nah, no she did yes i did Yes, I did. You can count on me because I'm going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to wear that. Now, I wish, I really do wish, in my mind, and maybe Friday I can find one or Saturday in the day, I really would love to wear a Stetson. Like, I would love to wear just a good-ass cowboy hat and really show out on them people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, I don't know if I'm going to do it, but I'm thinking about it. Just know it's on my mind. I'm also going to bring this little dress, too, which is just like a navy, or rather, excuse me, I'm going to bring this dress which is just a gray sort of number just in case I put on that sequin dress and I feel like it's it, maybe no I don't I don't know so I'm gonna bring this and I'm all, I'm gonna style it with the boots and with the coat too I just want to get like I need like a diamond you know like choker just a little chain so I might just pop into like TJ Maxx and just grab me one from there like I don't know but that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna bring it just in case you know something doesn't go exactly how I want it to go. I tried to dress on, everything fits nice, but you know, you always gotta have a backup. It's gonna be a hit, if you ask me, but I'll make sure that I show y'all. So, you know, you wanna make sure you turn in next week to our 72 hours in Nashville vlog. Um, okay, and then Sunday I'm leaving. As my eldest daughter said, mommy, that's not a trip, girl, that's an excursion. I said, you're right. You know, she's Friday to Sunday, we're making it a quick one. But on Sunday, we're going to do brunch, you know, I'm going to get up, hang out a little bit. And I figure because I have to get on the plane, you know, after all that, I want to keep it cute. I want to keep it cash. So I'm just going to wear this jumpsuit. Um, I actually grabbed this from Amazon. All right, everyone. These are the looks. This is what we're taking in Nashville. If you loved what you saw, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video because we want to add more people to the hot squad, okay? I just want to say thank you so much to all the commenters, somebody who told me I was their new favorite influencer, which new is, is like, wow, new? I've been doing this 13 years, <laughs> but I'm so happy to be here new on YouTube, on my own channel, doing my own thing. I appreciate it. To somebody who told me that they really loved the way I edited my vlogs, I appreciate you. The more and more you start doing something, the better that you get. We all have to be beginners at some point, and so I'm just grateful that you are all here along for the ride. 
being an early adopter is cool so just know you were hot before the hot gets bigger okay if you loved everything you saw please 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 click that bell so you can be sure that you're tuned in when a new video drops as always i appreciate you being here and i can't wait to see you next week until then thanks for watching see you